Yes, there are FMCSA regulations about what you put up here. Yep, there are regulations by the C FMCSA about what you can put up in your windshield and where you gotta put it. There's regulations for that. Have you ever heard about it? Have you ever heard of anybody getting a ticket for having things in the wrong spots or having things that aren't supposed to be up in the windshield? I have not. I'm sure they've some out there, but I have not. But here recently last week, the FMCSA distributed a final rule on what can be put up there, expanding the definition of what can be put up in the windshield and the distance from the top of the windshield that you can put up. Now, if you notice my windshield wipers, I got them straight up to the top. On this Freightliner, the top of the windshield wiper sweep is right at the top of the windshield. Now, where you have to measure is from the top of the windshield wiper sweep. So there's some trucks where there's a spot, space, between the sweep of the windshield wipers and the top of the windshield that doesn't count. So you measure it from the top of the sweep down. Now, the old regulation was four inches from the top. Now, I'm gonna look at this, at this video and show you what we have in our trucks right now, in the Freightliners. If you look in the middle, you'll see that big black box. That's put in by Freightliner. That has the technology that tells you if you're getting out of your lane, right? The buzzers go off if you get off to the right or to the left and let you know that. It does not have the technology to tell you if you're getting too close. That is down in the, in the front bumper. So also we have our love, beloved driver cam that everybody loves so much. That is up there. And we have our pre-pass, which is for the way stations and the toll tag to go on the tolls that we go on. That's what we have up in there right now. Now, they expanded the definition of what a, a vehicle sa safety assistant device or whatever it is on what can be put up there. They included, I guess cameras weren't included in that definition to begin with, but they are now because Lytx and a bunch of other companies asked for an exemption on what they could put up in there because they're safety devices. I guess and under the prior definitions, they weren't allowed. But now they are, they put up, uh, it gave them an exemption from 2016 for five years. Then in 2019, Daimler Trucks, which makes Freightliners, asked for the rule to be made permanent because of this stuff that, you know, <clears throat> the technology that they put in the trucks. Because if you notice, the black thing in the middle, more than four inches, right? So they also expanded the distance that you can have it in to eight and a half inches. That should cover all that stuff, right? What about your phone? What about your GPS? Well, they expanded the definition that anything that has incorporates a GPS in it can be mounted on your windshield. But remember guys, it's gotta be in the top eight and a half inches. I see these guys with the phones right in front of their face or their GPS right in, on the bottom part of the windshield blocking their view, I guess, I don't know. It's gotta be in the top eight and a half inches of your windshield. So, I have a question, how about these custom trucks with these big old long drop visors? I wonder, I mean, I know there's probably regs on that, and I know those guys that have those trucks don't really care. They probably almost never stop you. So, all that stuff is gonna have to be within eight and a half inches, I'm guessing including your drop visor. But since they came out with this final rule, expanding it to eight and a half inches, and what you can put up there, would not doubt it if they start checking it closer. I've never had anybody ask me about anything on an inspection, the level ones that I've had. They never asked me, but they might start. And remember, coming up in May, International Road Check 2022. So tell me what you think down below. Have you ever had a ticket for this? Have you ever been questioned about it? Did you even know that there's a specific spot that you can put your stuff in and what you can put up. I don't know. So, hey, check out this other video that I'm gonna put up about driver cams and my opinion on how we use them at SIA. You might find that interesting. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I 
put up another video. If you've already subscribed, thank you. Keep watching and sharing. We'll see you later.